Think you know everything about your Samsung S25 Ultra? Think again. This beast of a smartphone is packed with hidden features that most people never even use. So in this video, I'm revealing 15 mind-blowing features like 90% of Samsung users have no idea exist. So grab your phone, sit back, and get ready to unlock the full power of your S25 Ultra. Let's dive in. Before we begin, please subscribe to this channel. If you found any of these features useful, then please hit a like on this video. Thank you very much. So let's begin. So the very first feature is, did you know that you could generate stickers on your message app with your Samsung AI? If you didn't, let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the message app. You wanna go ahead and open up a message. So for example, this one here, go ahead and bring up the keyboard. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on the emoji icon, and then you wanna go ahead and tap on this Galaxy AI button. This will now take you into your stickers. So here you can go ahead and create a new sticker. So go ahead and describe what sticker you wanna send. So I'll put down sun rising from the valley. Now you have these four options where you can basically create your stickers from. So let's just tap on illustration, tap generate. And as you can see, it has now generated some sun rising from the valley. If you're happy with that, tap done. And then go ahead and send this over to your mates on your message app. So that is how to generate stickers on your message app with your Samsung AI feature. Now feature number two, did you know you could add the accessibility button on your Samsung S25 Ultra screen? So here you have a button here for accessibility and if you tap on it, you can basically assign any accessibility feature to it. So currently I've assigned a magnifier to it. However, you can go ahead and choose different accessibility options. So let me show you how to turn this on. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see accessibility. Tap on that. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on advanced settings. From here, you need to find the accessibility button, which looks like that. Tap on this. And now you wanna go ahead and tap on select action. And you wanna choose what action you want the accessibility button to do. So you have a big list of all the accessibility actions which you can take. Go ahead and choose your button here. Let's just choose call inversion, go back. And now here you can go ahead and choose as well if you want it to float on your screen or just stay on the navigation bar. So once you've set that, go ahead and tap on this and then this will basically turn on the accessibility action on your screen. Now the next feature, which is feature number three, do you know you could add extra buttons on your navigation bar for your Samsung S25 Ultra? So if you wanna add certain actions like camera button or the screenshot button, you can do this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Samsung store, search for store or Samsung store. Here you need to go ahead and search for an app called Good Lock. Go ahead and install this app. Once installed, go ahead and open the app. Now in the app, you wanna go ahead and find another app called Navstar. Go ahead and install this and open it. Switch this feature on and then go ahead and tap on new configuration. Now here you wanna go ahead and choose what you want on your navigation bar. So at the bottom tap button layout, then tap on add button, and you can go ahead and choose all these available buttons you can add to this navigation bar. So let's just go ahead and choose the internet and camera, and then tap done. Now tap save. And now you wanna go ahead and choose your newly created navigation bar, which is that. And now you wanna go and press home. And now as you can see, you've got your internet and you've got your camera app. So like this, you can go ahead and choose different customization as well for your navigation bar. Now the next feature is your feature number four, which where did you know you can change how fast your volume changes on your Samsung S25 Ultra? So here, when you press the volume up and the volume down button, as you can see, you can change how fast the volume changes up and down. You can have it at the step of 10 or maybe just one at a time. So let me show you how to change this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here you need to go ahead and open up the Samsung store, search for store, search for good lock, install this app and then open it. Now in the app, you wanna go ahead and find an app called Sound Assistance, which is that. Now from here, you wanna find change step volume. So this is where you can basically change the media slider to adjust the rate at which the volume is changed. So if you set it to 10 and you change your volume, so this will change it at a very fast rate. If you change it to one, so this will change it at a very slow rate. 
Now the next feature, which is feature number five, I'll show you how to swipe to turn on AI Select on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So as you know, you have this side command menu. From here, you can go ahead and select AI Select. However, that is quite a lot of steps and I can show you a way where basically you can do one swipe and this will basically turn on AI Select. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up your Samsung store, search for this app called Good Lock. Go ahead and install this. Now in this app, you're finding one hand operation, which looks like that. Tap on this, switch this on. And now from here, you wanna go ahead and select the left handle, tap on this. And now if you do straight right swipe like this, you can go ahead and tap on this and configure all of these steps. However, from these steps, we'll go ahead and find the AI select option, which is right here. Now when you press home and when we swipe right, you can see that AI Select has now been activated and you can go ahead and use the Samsung AI features on your S25 Ultra. So that is a very quick way of using AI Select on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about, which is feature number six, is did you know you could ask your phone to summarize a web page for you? So say for example, if you open up internet browser, here let's just go to cnn.com. We'll just open up a article here so here we have an earthquake in Burma. And let's just say, I don't want to read everything on this article. And I just want my Samsung S25 Ultra to summarize it for me. So to do this, I'll use this Galaxy AI feature just here at the bottom. Tap on this, tap OK. And now you'll get these options here. You can go ahead and tap on summarize. And this will basically summarize the article and will give you a small snippet of what exactly this article is about. Now you can go ahead and read this quickly and then move on to the next article. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is something related to articles as well. However, this is feature number seven and this is where you can basically translate articles into different language. So let's say English is not your native language or your first language. Let's say maybe Hindi or maybe Japanese is your first language. You want to understand what this article is all about. So here we have internet browser open up from Samsung. And from here, we'll go ahead and use this AI button, tap on this, and then we'll go ahead and tap on translate. So now this translate feature, we'll look at this website here, article, and translate it to any language you want. So at the top, you can go ahead and choose, and let's go ahead and translate it to something else. So let's just say Hindi. And there you go, it's translated in Hindi. There's many different languages you can choose from, Thai as well. So this will basically take an English article online and will translate it into the language you prefer. Now, the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number eight, is where did you know you can open up two websites at the same time on a Samsung S25 Ultra? With the S25 Ultra, it basically supports multi-window sessions where you can open up two things at one time on your same screen. So say for example, you wanna see an article for this earthquake and you wanna see this Trump presidency article as well. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and long press on it. You wanna go ahead and drag it to the left. And then here you can go ahead and drop it to the top. And now you have two articles open up. So at the bottom you have your earthquake article and at the top you have your Trump presidency article. So you can go ahead and read them at the same time and you can basically browse through these articles and enjoy your reading. Okay. Now we'll move on to the next feature, which is feature number nine. Did you know you could customize your air command menu, which is right here? So here you can basically add more apps to this air command. As you can see, there's only about maybe seven apps. However, you can go ahead and add more apps to this and I'll show you how to do this. So first go ahead and bring the air command. Now from here, go ahead and tap on this pencil icon. And now from here, you can go ahead and add all the apps you require on the air command. I do not suggest you to add everything, just add whatever is important. To add it, just go ahead and drag it and add it into your air command. Now press home. And now when you bring the air command up, you'll see those apps in your air command. So that is how to customize your air command menu by adding more items to it. Now the next feature is again related to the air command, which is feature number 10. Did you know you could enable multi-screen by dragging apps from your air command to S25 Ultra? Maybe let's say for example, this is a quick info website. So you're watching a match live you want to see the score. However, you want to go ahead and use another app. So you want to see some photos from your gallery. So you want to go ahead and tap on gallery, 
drag it out into the middle. And now you have three options. You can go ahead and drop it to the top. You can drop it as a pop-up menu, or you can go ahead and drop it at the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and drop it as a pop-up view. So here I can go ahead and also browse through my gallery. And also I can see the score for that cricket match. So this is really great as you're multitasking and you're using the multi-window feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra. To close it, just go ahead and drag that window and drag it to close at the bottom. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number 11. Did you know you could drag notification and open it in your pop-up mode or in a multi-screen mode on your Samsung S25 Ultra? So here, say for example, we have this notification where it's basically talking about one UI 7 update plan. And say, for example, if you tap on it, this will basically open up a new page and will load it up. So let's say you're watching the YouTube app. However, you want to see this notification which has just appeared up and you want to see it while you're watching YouTube. So to do this, you want to go ahead and bring down the notification, go ahead and long press on it and then go ahead and drag it out. So here you can go ahead and view it as a pop-up view. If you drag it to the top, you can go ahead and place it there. Or if you drag it to the bottom, you can go ahead and place it there as well. So I'll go ahead and choose what you like. I'll choose the bottom. And now I can go ahead and view that YouTube video and also browse through this notification which has just appeared on my Samsung S25 Ultra. Okay. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number 12, where did you know Google can summarize the YouTube video which you're watching on YouTube. So if you're watching a video and this video is about 11 minutes long, however, you don't want to watch the full 11 minutes and you just want Google to analyze the video and show you what is important or what is coming throughout the video. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the YouTube app, go ahead and play the video. Now go ahead and long press on your power button here. This will enable the Google Gemini. At the bottom here, you can go ahead and ask about the video. So I'll go ahead and tap on ask about the video. So you can go ahead and type this in or you can just go ahead and tap on ask about the video and then go ahead and send this off. So here, this will give you a summary of the video. So as it reads, it presents you 10 features for your Samsung S25 Ultra. And these are all the features which are available on that video. So there you go guys, this has basically made your life very easy. It'll basically avoid you from watching that video and will give you a summary on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number 13. Did you know you could drag and drop photos from one photo to another? If you didn't, then keep watching as I'll show you how to do it. So here I've got gallery open. So let's say for example, I wanna take this person, I wanna copy it and paste it on this picture here. So to do this, I'll go ahead and open that picture. I'll go ahead and long press on the image until it detects that it wants to lift up that person. Now using my other hand, I'll go ahead and bring the next picture and then I'll go ahead and leave my finger. Now this will basically paste that image which I've just copied. Go ahead and enlarge it. And once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and tap on save. And now this will basically copy that image and paste it on the original image. So there you go guys, that is how to drag and drop photos from one photo to another. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number 14. Did you know you could remove background noise on your Samsung S25 Ultra using your Samsung new AI audio eraser feature? So in your Samsung S25 Ultra, there's a feature called Audio Eraser. So anything you record using your Samsung S25 Ultra, feature called Audio Eraser will remove the background noise. So here I'll just go ahead and record my voice. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Shh. Testing, testing, testing. Now when I view this video on my Samsung S25 Ultra, and I tap on this AI button here, this will automatically analyze the video and it will analyze the sound as well and we'll get rid of any background noise on the video itself. So tap on auto and this will do everything for you. And then you can go ahead and press play and hear the volume itself. So you can basically hear the original and you can also hear after it has been processed. Once you're happy, you can tap save and this will basically save that video with the audio eraser feature applied to it. Now this last feature, which is feature number 15, it'll basically save you money in the long run as you know, your Samsung S25 Ultra can take great pictures and videos. However, to back up all this data, you will need a storage account. So like cloud, Samsung's cloud or Google cloud. Now for this, it all costs money. However, I'll show you a free method of saving all these video files, which basically takes up the most space into a storage cloud, which is basically free. So the storage cloud is your YouTube. As you know, YouTube will allow you to add 
as many videos as you want. You can upload 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, no matter how many videos you apply, YouTube will always make space for it. And you can also upload 4K videos on it and also view them later on for 4K. Don't worry, whatever videos you upload to YouTube, you can basically make it private or you can make it public. So if you make it private and you're a private person, just leave it as private. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up your Play Store. You need to go ahead and search for YouTube Studio. Go ahead and download this app, tap open. Now here in the YouTube Studio, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and you can go ahead and choose all the videos from your phone library. Now you can choose as many as you want and just upload it directly onto YouTube and those videos will remain with you throughout the whole life of YouTube. Just remember YouTube does not have any storage limit, so the storage limit is unlimited. So there you go guys, those were the 15 mind blowing features that 90% of the Samsung users have no idea that existed. Hopefully this has helped you out. If you find any of those features useful in your daily life, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Please subscribe and please like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.